The largest tiller in the Barreto fleet comes in three models with varying horsepower options. A Honda GX390 and 14 and 16 horsepower Briggs Vanguard engines. The counter-rotating tines cut through the toughest, hardest packed soil you'll find. And at 560 pounds, you can be sure that no matter how hard the soil, this tiller won't bounce and shake you as you operate. General safety features. To use the tiller, you must be over 18 years old, of sound body and mind, and familiar with the machine as taught to you by someone with experience. You must also read and understand all safety messages and instructions in the user manual. Pay special attention to the safety decals fixed to the body of the tiller near specific hazard points. The tiller must always be operated in full compliance with all state, local, and national regulations, including OSHA regulations. Never operate the tiller under the influence of alcohol, drugs, prescriptions that prohibit operation of machinery or any other substances that impair your cognitive or physical ability. Always wear proper PPE while moving or operating the machine. This includes eye protection like safety glasses or a full face shield, earplugs, a hard hat, gloves, and boots. If you're working near traffic, wear reflective clothes. Never wear loose-fitting clothing, jewelry, or anything which could get caught, and keep your head and facial hair pulled back while operating the machine. While moving or operating the tiller, stay clear of any moving parts. The wheels and tines especially can cause serious injury and even death. When operating, always stay clear of of any debris flying from the tiller tines. Always operate the machine outdoors and avoid standing near or breathing in the engine exhaust and fumes. Also, avoid operating near flames, sparks, or flammable dust or vapors. If possible, keep a fire extinguisher capable of extinguishing petrol fires near you while you operate. Only operate when there is enough light, either natural or artificial, and allow for plenty of side and overhead clearance between the machine and buildings, fences, trees, and other obstacles. Also, be very careful of moving the tiller down any incline, especially trailer ramps. Never leave the tiller unattended while the engine runs. There's no place to stand on the tiller, so never try. Also, never allow anybody else to stand or ride on the machine. Never lift the tiller over any person. If the tiller tips, that person could be crushed. The safety clutch lever is for your safety, so never tape it down or otherwise try to bypass it. Doing so could result in serious harm or even death. Always keep the time cover closed and the machine completely level while you operate. If possible, pick a worksite free from bystanders. If you cannot avoid having others on the worksite, keep all observers or co-workers at a safe distance from the machine and use traffic flag personnel, signs, cones, and lighting devices to warn or divert traffic and pedestrians. Stop the machine immediately if anyone comes close. Always call 811 before you till. If you don't, you may cause an accident, interruption of services, damage the environment, or even hurt someone. If after doing so, you still hit an underground utility or pipe, immediately move away from the damaged utility and call 911. Before you operate. Before you start the engine, look to make sure nothing is worn or damaged. Replace any worn or damaged parts and all bolts as well to maintain the tiller's balance points. Always check the engine and hydraulic oil reserves are full. Running the engine without these fluids could seriously damage the engine and hydraulic pump. Before starting, always check for leaks using a piece of cardboard. Hydraulic oil is under extreme pressure while the machine is on. If touched, it can cause burns and poisoning. Also, familiarize yourself with the controls and features of the machine. The clutch actuator lever is at your left handle grip. This lever activates the wheel drive and time controls when squeezed. Releasing it stops all motion in the machine. The wheel drive lever controls the direction and speed while moving the machine. The time drive lever activates the tilling tines. While not actively tilling, always keep the time drive lever set to off. Transporting the machine. Barreto recommends transporting the tiller using the Barreto 3x4 tilt bed trailer. Before towing, make sure that the towing vehicle is in legal operating condition and exceeds the recommended specifications for towing. The towing vehicle should have a 2-inch, 5-centimeter ball mount, which is in good repair and securely fastened. It should also have trailer lights if required by local towing laws. When attaching the trailer to the vehicle, cross the chains under the trailer tongue to prevent it dropping to the ground if the trailer comes loose accidentally. Also, make sure to attach the safety chain in a way that it cannot come loose. Only allow enough slack in the chains to allow for proper turning of the vehicle. Never leave enough slack for the chains to drag on the ground, or leave too little so it's drawn too tight. To load the tiller, 
park the trailer and towing vehicle on level ground. Unlatch the tilt bed latch pin to tip up the trailer bed. Leave the latch so that the spring-loaded action will engage the pin and lock when the trailer levels out. Start the machine. Drive slowly onto the trailer bed. The weight of the tiller will balance the trailer out as you drive. Drive until the trailer is level and the tiller bumper is set into the bumper purchase attachment. Stop. Turn off the machine. Insert the pin behind the bumper and secure the machine with the clevis pins. When you tow, never go faster than 45 miles per hour and always obey all local traffic laws. Allow for extra clearance around the vehicle and stop after a few blocks to check your load and retighten the hitch to the ball if necessary. Operating the machine. When you arrive on site, always do a site assessment first. Look around for any conditions or obstructions that could hinder tilling or make operating the machine unsafe for anyone. If there is a source of sparks, flames, or unknown vapors nearby, do not operate. When your assessment is complete, start up the machine. Drive the tiller to the desired location. To move forward, push the wheel drive lever to the right. To go backwards, push it to the left. The driving speed is variable, and the farther from the center position the lever is moved, the faster the tiller drives. When centered, the wheels are locked in the neutral position. Always keep the tine drive lever set to off when moving from place to place. Avoid drop-offs, embankments, and slopes while driving. The tiller can be driven at a maximum slope of 20 degrees. However, if the machine is driven or parked on a slope of greater than 20 degrees, it will shut down automatically. When you get to the tilling location, come to a complete stop. Adjust the depth bar to the desired depth. In most soil conditions, the bar can be set with the pin in the third hole from the top. When you're ready to start, move the tine drive lever to the on or reverse position. The tines will start to dig. Squeeze the clutch lever to engage the tines completely. Slowly start to drive forward with the machine. Never drive in reverse while the tines are in operation. If you need to drive in reverse, move the tine control lever into neutral and proceed to move. After one pass is made, if necessary, make a second pass. Most soil conditions will require two passes. Increase the depth on the second pass if you want a deeper till. Slow your speed if the wheels start to spin or you hear the engine start to overload. If the engine lugs down or the tiller slows, release the wheel drive control lever until the engine speed recovers, then continue tilling. If before or during operation you have problems, consult your owner's manual first. It lists many common problems and their possible causes. If your problem is not listed in the owner's manual, call the parts and service line at Barreto or where you rented the machine. After the job, once tilling is complete, move the tiller to level ground and park. Never park on a slope. Turn off the ignition switch. Close the fuel shutoff valve. If you don't, fuel could leak into the cylinder and crankcase. Damage from this is not covered under warranty. Never leave the machine running while you're not there. Let the machine cool entirely before performing maintenance, cleaning, or touching the engine, muffler, hydraulic lines, or hydraulic fluid. To clean the machine, wait until it's cool and then spray it down with water. Once clean, run the machine briefly to remove water from the system. Once you return to the shop, complete all other required cleaning, lubrication, and battery maintenance. If the couplers between the engine and the pump are removed for any reason, you must leave exactly a 1 16th inch gap between them when reinstalled. If you don't, your pump will fail rapidly. Also, complete any required cleaning and maintenance on your Barreto 3x4 tilt bed trailer. For more specifics on both products' assembly, warranty information, maintenance tasks, and more, consult your owner's manual and visit www.barettomfg.com.